Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we'll be using wheel colliders to create a customizable vehicle for our game. So I have created a simple label for this tutorial and all the assets used here are free assets available in assets store whose link are provided in the description. So let's get started. We'll be using Formula One racing car that's also an asset available in the asset store any one of this car so initially let's create a, an empty game object and rename it as in moment right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab everything except for main camera and directional light and place it in environment game object so we'll be using any one of this car and as you can see that to for, for us to use wheel collider each wheel must be separated from its main body so as you can see here the wheel left and the wheel right all these wheels are separated from its main uh, body so we can use this so let's create a new game object and rename it as wheels and let's grab all these wheels right and then apply it to the wheels now we can uh, duplicate this and then rename it as wheel colliders right now we can uh, expand this choose all of its style remove the mesh render as well as mesh filter and then add wheel wheel colliders now we cannot see the wheel collider right now being applied since the wheel collider also required preset work so on its parent child or the main game object of the car we can apply the widget body now we can see the wheel colliders being applied let's uh, align it around our wheel so i'm gonna change its uh, center to something like maybe 0 0.15 mm, something like this and we can change the radius to so i'm gonna change this radius to around 0 0.55 right now we can see the wheel colliders getting applied also we need to apply uh, the box collider else it's not gonna work as we intend so we're gonna apply the box collider in the main uh, body of the car and let's edit the box collider we can get it around here somewhere around here and we going to change to somewhere around here as well as yes now Let's choose this car that we have just modified and then apply it in our scene, right? Now let's grab it up, bring it forward and change its rotation to something like 180. And then I also wanted to decrease the style by a little bit since our load are small or we can change the environment as well but let's change let's lower down the scale to something like 0.7 and we need to provide the mass of the reservoir to something like 1500 which is somewhat similar to the real mass of the f1 race or for our game it's gonna work so let's see what happens So, since there is no any script to move it around or move forward and backward, it's working as we intended. The car is working as we intended. Now let's write some script in order to move it forward as well as backward and left, right and apply brick in the car. So let's create a new script like uh, drive vehicle. Yes, this would be our new script and then what we need to we need to do is to open this on our Visual Studio Code. So what I need to do is I will I'm gonna remove both the start and the update method and I'm gonna write some serialized field for our wheel colliders and name it something like hmm, forward left wheel collider and then forward right wheel collider 
as well as we need to have a passage to the uh, wheel collider of the back seat also so we can write back left left as well as back right wheel colliders we also need to switch to the transform of both of the all the wheels so let's create some of the methods that we'd be using that would be like steering and then let's capital it steering and then apply dog or apply force or apply acceleration anything you want to write and then void maybe we what we need else we need to apply dog we need to apply steering we need to get input inputs from the users and we need to change and uh, apply apply break as well right so let's write some of these methods for this let's write some private variables like um, horizontal value for vertical value and then we're gonna Get those horizontal and vertical values. We also need to get those from get axis. It's gonna be horizontal as well as we need to get the vertical values. So to get the vertical values as well and now what we're going to do is we're going to apply those in steering so like uh, float two equals two we're going to have the horizontal value multiply by now that's we need to uh, we need to have a steering angle so what we're going to do is as well as we need the force or torque to be applied and brake force or brake torque to be applied right? so let's apply the steering angle and then what we're gonna do is we need to get the front left wheel and assess the steering steer angle and then apply the steer as well as we need to get the front right front right wheel collider and get the steering steer angle and then apply the value and now we need to apply the torque as well so I'm gonna apply the q or q torque equals to vertical value into force we want and then we need to do is or not we need to really apply it on the back wheel similar to how it is applied in the real life it's the motor torque that we're gonna apply and it's gonna be Talk as well as back right wheel colliders as it is more to talk and then apply the talk. Let's and now we can write this an update method that we're gonna call every, everything and we can try to fix update so that since it's uh, physics it's it's getting applied uniformly. All the physics will be applied uniformly, right? So let's initially get the get inputs and then we're gonna uh, apply the steering and then we're gonna apply apply the torque and let's write some script for break as well so when we press that get key when we press B what we what is gonna happen is 
we will need to apply brakes right so apply brakes and then let's create a load brake force yeah and then what we can do is brake force we can apply the brake force as well as else apply brake loads to zero now what we need to do is we need to get the uh, back lift with colliders and brake torque equals to brake force back right wheel colliders dot brake force equals to brake force right and let's uh, remove it uh, let's extract this part as well into some new method and name it as let's say brake now let's go to the script and try to assign those values so from what i have seen you can see in the script as well that the wheel left and wheel left one are the front wheels and wheel right and wheel right on are the back so back wheels so what we're going to do is we're going to assign them so we'll right now the steering angles will be something like 45 the force will be around a thousand and let's apply the brake force to be around a thousand yeah. now let's see how does it behaves okay. so it's going forward and it's going backward this will be test it's working as we intended till now so it's a bit difficult for us to move alongside the vehicle so let's write some script for the camera so that we can follow the car that the camera can follow the car and we can have better visualization of what we are working on let's write a new script for the camera open it up in the visual studio and let's just start writing some code for the camera script so i'm going to remove the start and the update method and i'm going to have some serialized field and what we need is the target so target or player target and then we need the offset so the offset value will be the distance between the sorry distance between the player or the target and the camera and then we need two more float variable that we can assign from inspector that would be the smooth smoothness of rotation as well as smoothness of movement and now we need to have two variables to look look at target and then move towards offset or move towards target move towards target so let's write some script for look towards target so i'm gonna have a local variable and that's the loop direction or the direction that we have to look so the direction would be the target position minus the position of the camera so that is the transform position and we need to create a new quaternion and not quality setting rotation and then that would be to use a spatial function that's look around and that's going to create a rotation of the specific forward and upward direction that's going to take the Loop direction as well as the upward vector 3 dot. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply the rotation or we're gonna change the rotation of the camera by lurping from the rotation of the camera and the rotation that we 
initially calculate it and then multiply it by the smoothness of the rotation and the time to delta time so the time to delta time is the time between each frames so this allows us to have a uniform rotation for all the devices that we might see later on now we're gonna have the move to the target right so for this we need to have the target position so the target position is the position that is resp uh, that uh, that moves around the target according to the position of the target not according to the position of the gold position so we're going to be using the offset values so for this what we're going to do is we're going to get the position of the target and then add it with the off the x value of offset multiplied by the targets right side so the and then we can apply the uh, multiply the offset g value by the forward of the target so the g z axis is the forward in the unity as well as what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the offset and we're gonna take the y axis and multiply with the targets upward value once we get this what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the target and target's position equals to we're gonna use the vector uh, log function of the vector 3 and log it between target position no we can log it to a transform the position to uh, target position in the time of smoothness of movement multiplied by time dot delta time now let's uh, write a late update method since we want it to run late or at last after everything is computed or else it might create some sort of jitterness so what we're going to do is let's call the look at target as well as move towards target here it is move towards target now let's get back to our editor assign this value as in target let's assign it something like maybe 2 and minus 8 smoothness around rotation to be around 45 and 30 so the problem was in the move towards the target i have used the target position so we transform the position since we have to transform the camera and not the target right that's why it was having all sorts of errors so now let's go forward let's try to go up so it's working as we want it but there is a lot of shakiness in the car it's because the values within the wheel collider is not what it should be we need to change the values like it's spring dampness so let's change it to around 10,000 let's change this to around 90,000 and see what happens so now we can see it's much better than what it was but still it's not okay so let's press B and it's still moving and B and then let's move forward so yeah when we move and B it's gonna pause the car and it's gonna move the car we can move backward we can move forward we can go left right so yeah the car is working as we intended for now so what we're gonna do now is to make sure make all this uh, shakiness go out of this car and we're gonna try to create some mechanics in order to drift our car from 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 here we're gonna we may add some road even somewhere around here and then try to drift the car from here which we will try and do it in the next tutorial so for today i'm gonna leave it till here
Thanks for watching.